Hi, I'm Zerfall, and I'm joined today by my brother, Speed Graphics, to play one of the classic games from our childhood, Spy vs. Spy. Spy vs. Spy is a game that we played a lot back in the day. Yes. Led to a lot of interesting discussions and disputes between two <laughs> brothers. It is one of those games where you can have uh, the potential for screen looking, which has been a problem since the very early 80s. This game came out in uh, 1984, which is only two years after I came out. <laughs> Freezing. Oh, it came out of not not came out of the closet. Came out of my mother, which <laughs> is just as bad. But um, it's one of those classic uh, player versus player games where um, it takes place in several different shaped buildings depending on the difficulty level. Um, lots of people liked this game back in the day. Lemon sixty four currently has a. Uh, it's ranked number 68 on their top 100 with a score of 8.38, which isn't bad. Um, there were two follow-up games, Spy vs. Spy 2 The Island Caper, which takes place on an island, and Spy vs. Spy 3 Arctic Antics, which takes place in the Arctic. And the score goes down. It dips to 7.7 .7 for The Island Caper, and I believe it falls uh, below 7 for Arctic Antics. But I feel that might be more of a nostalgia thing. The games look like they play very similarly, but more people would have probably played this first game than the other two. I think you're right about that. I mean, I never certainly played those other two. No. Now, I guess this... that makes sense. We had we had all the same games anyway, so... Yeah. <laughs> um, this game also came out on the Amiga, the Amstrad CPC, the Atari 800, um, the C64, obviously, the NES, the Sega Master System, and it's now come out for iOS. Which actually oh, really? is kind of interesting. Mm. I haven't seen that, but I'd imagine you only see your screen as opposed to seeing the other players as well. I wonder if it actually has multiplayer or if it's just you playing against the computer. Oh, it could be. So, um, I guess we'll get down to the game here. This is the demo playing right now. This isn't us poorly fighting, although our fights are pretty poor. Um, we're going to play two versions of the game. One will be the very first level of difficulty, which is only six rooms. And it comes down a lot more to strategy. And then later on, we're going to play one of the larger maps, which actually there's a lot more having to search around and find things um, with a much larger time limit. I suppose right. we can explain the uh, the rest of the mechanics as they go along. I think that makes a lot of sense. Let's get started here. So two-player game. One is the level of difficulty, which is the sixth room that you were talking about, and away we go. So, of course, it starts you off in the same room, and you have the option of fighting, but... Uh, I like to set up traps myself, so I'm yes, going to let uh, like to look at get away. So if I can go fast enough here, I might have a chance to outrun your traps. It's not very likely, though, but... I can at least get a head start on items. I am not used to playing this with a gamepad, and <laughs> it's having an effect on my gameplay. Uh-oh. <laughs> so you can probably hear both of our gamepads just kind of clicking away. Oh, well, that was <laughs> bound to happen. It is kind of random, though, eh? What you're going to get. Uh-oh. You already bought it. Yeah, that's, it. that's my payback for you right there. I thought I got there fast enough to get away with it. So we both spawn in the same room, so it's important to get out of the way really fast. And since I've already got a trap on the other side, I'm hoping to... Ah! <laughs> I actually just want to get out of here, too. Yeah, you should get out of there. You better run. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. That's not what I was looking for. See, now every time you get into a fight, the person that's carrying items drops them back into a piece of furniture. So what yes. that means is you can oh, I'm totally winning get, someone, uh, get someone to lose their item and possibly into a, a trapped ah. piece of furniture is what I was trying to do there, but I was foiled because Zerfall pulled out the uh, the water bucket out of the wall. Which yeah, I've, to, I've learned my lesson down. from some off-screen playing to not at least try to grab whatever's on the wall when I'm opening things. Now, are you using a Wii Classic controller as well? I am, yeah. So we're both, uh, we're both at least in the same boat there. I should probably do some calibration on it, though. I, I opened up the calibration program before, and I thought, ah, it's too much. i got to get on the, on the Skype with uh, Zerfall, so... Never really got around to it. That I'm might be it. There. Oh, I gotta get away. Ah, 
So all of the items have been collected. You see we had to get a passport, a monies, a key, and I think the last thing is secret plans, but it really just looks like a candy bar. Oh my, look at that. I finally want to fight. Uh-oh, and it was the crucial fight in the, uh, the game too, because everything is in that room. Where's the airport door? Oh, yes. no, there's no way I'm catching up to you. So the airport door is, because of the settings that we have, it's also hidden till the end. Which is supposed to be You can also set it up default. so that it's it's visible when, as soon as you start the game. Just adds an extra little uh, bit of strategy to it. Yeah. If you can find the airport before the person uh, that's got all the stuff, you have a great chance to set up some ambushes. But you have to be careful because you can't ambush the door itself. If you try to, uh, the security guard opens the door and punches you and kills you instead. All right, so now that we've been through that, I don't know if you have any commentary you wanted to throw in based on the gameplay that we had, or if you're ready to get going right away. Well, I'm away. ready to get going again. I think the one thing to point out is there's a total number of traps available is twice the number of uh, rooms. So I think it is... I don't think we've ever done it ourselves, playing it younger, but I think it is possible to run out of traps. Which is another great strategy twist. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yep. Here we go. So now that there are more rooms, there are going to be more up and down zones. There's also going to be more... Um, you know, I'm just going to take a look at the map real quick to show the difference. Oh, you got it. Okay. Yeah, so you can see there's, there's more than the six maps. And it also... Um, as the rooms get bigger, they actually end up having more than one floor. There's also new furniture types that are added as well. Like in this case, in the back of the room that I, the white spy, am in, you can see that there's a, a coat rack. That actually contains an umbrella that you can pick up, which defeats the... Uh, the bucket that you can trap a door with. Now, I'm so, confused. Is that bucket water and then you get electrocuted, or is it acid and then your skeleton shows? I think that it's electricity. Like, there's a lightning bolt on the bucket when you look at it in your inventory. I don't know how you have a bucket of electricity, but apparently that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, you've been really finding items already. I guess you yes, looked at the I map. Have. That's a smart guy. I should do that myself. Oh, there's something in here somewhere. Yeah, so I that's exactly how the, it works, is there's a dot that shows you sort of what's, uh, where the items are. And it's actually a way to track the other player once they pick something up. If you look at the map as they're walking around, you'll see their dot moving, but it only moves as you open and close the, uh, as you open and close the map. So you can't just sit there and watch them move around and figure out which way they're going. You have to waste your time opening and closing the map over and over again. I'm going to try to be a little crafty here, which I might not have wanted to announce. You know what I did? You trapped yourself in a room? I think I did. I think I can't remember if I put a trap on this or not. <laughs> well, you're going to have to risk it. Am I? Or are you going to have to risk it? I'm huh? in a little fortress of solitude here with an item. Well... I do have access to a bunch of stuff that might let me get through things. That's a good point. So we'll have to see which way is the safest way to go here. Oh, it looks like that did work because my umbrella went away. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay, you know what? I got to get out of here. What's in this? Uh, what's in this box? That's the bucket box. Oh no! I could have gotten through there. Oh. Oh, no, but it doesn't seem to have been your exit. <laughs> <laughs> I think it may be acid that falls on you, though, because half your face is gone when you fly up into heaven. What? I thought the wire cutter was going to stop that. Oh, well. Well, it clearly didn't. All right, is this... Hopefully this is a bucket of acid. Yeah, I had a real penchant for those at the beginning. There you go. Oh, man. Actually, it didn't go away. I don't think that door was trapped at all. <laughs> What? Oh, man! <laughs> you, t you psyched yourself out. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. No, you obviously died of something up there. <laughs> I did that. Yes. All right, so this is going to come down to 
the wire again, I guess. Now you can see in the later maps, you actually have a lot more time than you really need, but it has to do with having to fight back and forth. No, you know what? I'm going to let you go ahead with that. Yeah, you, you open up that trap. I will open up that trap because I know what it is. Oh, really now I can't open the trap. You're here. Yeah, but now I know what I need to do. Yeah, you need to die. Oh, I die. Oh, that's it. Oh, you no. Got... Oh, no. You got a combo going. Oh, there we go. So, if I'm fast enough, I should be able to get out of here. But you might be able to find the... No, I couldn't even <laughs> undo the trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I should just leave that alone then. Uh oh, I set up that trap. <laughs> oh great, now I'm in a safe little protected zone. You have a longer walk ahead of you, and now I know I just need to pick up the uh, bucket to defuse the bomb. Well, that might be what you've got going on, but how are you going to make it to the safety of the airport? Oh crap. No, I had to set that trap in that room because, really, I mean, the only option to me was the bucket. Okay, the doorway is cleared. Oh, yes, the doorway is cleared. But who set that trap up in the first place? I can't remember, to be honest with you. Was it you? It was me! I don't know what room you, you technically died in, though. Oh, you hid that somewhere, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> Where the heck did you hide it? Oh, no. My plans. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I should have been screen looking more. Come on, gotta make it. Don't get stuck on corners. Let's go. Let's go. Let's I go. I need to spawn. No. Ah. Oh, I thought I had the plans. <laughs> this is so much more fun uh, now that we know what we're doing with it. <laughs> yeah, when we were younger, it was sort of just. I mean, I, I kind of understood the game enough to get the items and stuff, but I think. We'd more often get frustrated on the higher le rank difficulty levels than before uh, Before we'd actually get uh, through a level. Now, you know what we should do? We let's go to one of the really high level ones. I don't need to play all the way through it, but I just want to show the fact that there's actually a well, let's huge try with, map. Let's try with six, because we might actually have a chance to, to complete that in a... All right, here we go. So once again, I'm not going to fight you so we can get the map going. I'll call it up. Thank you. Gives me a so, chance like this. Anyways, you can see there, there's only three items on this uh, floor, so that means there's going to be a second floor. Oh, you found the attaché case already. I did. Eh, uh, escape. You better run. Apparently I should have, yes. Oh no, oh no! Oh, Aha, turn the tides! No. It's all about the jabs! I could only have, I must have only been like one hit off, uh that. Now, I thought the map said there was something in here, but clearly I was mistaken. I could open the map again, but... Perhaps it's this way. So somewhere around here, there's got to be a ladder. Or a hole in the floor. And the good thing about this map is there's a lot more ways from room to room, so you're less likely to get uh, all beat up or trapped completely within something. Oh, man. Hey, I know where you are. <laughs> yeah. Well, the jabs work way better than the up-down thing. <laughs> well, well, well. It's about time that happened. Oh, did you stash the stash? Oh, yeah, I did. I totally did. Oh, man. You trapped every room in the spawn room, didn't you? Maybe. Maybe. 
Okay, so I'm pretty sure you didn't go down there. Oh, there's a ladder. All right, well, I got to make the long way around here. Better take a look at the map here now that I'm on the next level. Okay. Now, this is where the hard part's going to come, is that um, there's definitely... Um, it's going to be a lot harder to find the airport. The there's one a thing lot you of rooms to check. Yeah, you're right. The one thing that um, is helpful in trying to find the airport is it can only spawn in a room that doesn't have a north-facing door already. So the majority of the uh, rooms on the H shape can't really have an airport because they've already got the up and the downs. Take the long way around. No, 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 no. <laughs> right. Yeah, you got to come to me. Yeah, that's it. Oh, man. You really oh, have maybe it matters. To oh, yes. I was going to say, maybe it matters if you're above or below them, the up-down works better, and if you're right side to side. You know, I have a feeling that the up-down probably does more damage. Oh, really? You're the one that put that there. I know. I have a feeling the up-down does more damage, but it's not as fast as the jab. I don't know. Ah. Oh. Crap. I haven't been on the on the lower floor here in a while, so I'm not quite sure where there's going to oh, be. Oh, no, I thought I put a trap on that door. Ha-ha. Meep. No, I'm not fast enough for traps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave you in my dust. I don't want to see you at all. Where that picture on the wall is supposed to be uh, it could be maybe one of the designers i'm surprised it's not uh what's his name from uh the mad magazines alfred e newman yeah you'd think that they would have included him in here somewhere yeah you know if you didn't have that mustache you could almost believe that it was supposed to be him rendered in low resolution c64 styles but <laughs> Where's this map? That's a good question. Where is this map? I got all turned around now. Got myself lost. Okay, oh no, I okay. went up and then down again. I'm wasting time on this ladder. What? Oh, there was already a trap on that door. <laughs> I tried to double trap it. I guess that's where the, the downfalls can happen, is you think you've got a great idea for a trap location, and it turns out you don't. Alright, I'm at the spawn here. can't trap the door if it keeps opening and closing. <laughs> Apparently it legs you out too. Stop that. I'll fight yeah, you. Yeah, I, I noticed you didn't go for the item. What's up with that? Did you maybe trap that? Maybe, but what type of trap is on it? Do I even know? Ah, well, you're going to find out. <laughs> yep. All right, I got to find this item first, though. Because my safest bet. 
What? How did this not drop in here somewhere? It's a mystery. Oh, can you guess who? Oh, look what I found. That's weird that it's... I guess all the items have been found. That's oh, weird. no, that means that you must have dropped the item in the Ashtashay case. <laughs> you got me. What a clever guy. Come on, come on, come on. There it is. Oh, really? Thanks really? for opening that up for me, buddy. <laughs> uh, I oh, cannot I'm get believe I'm how get crafty it. you are this time. I just gotta find where that uh, where that airport was. It couldn't have been too far from here. Nope, not that way. Uh oh, uh oh. Mm. Aha, you've led me to the airport. No! Ah. Uh. I'm yes. resigned to my fate. You got me. Well, I'll tell you, I haven't gotten... I don't have the attache case on me. <laughs> I'm not sure which room it fell in. Oh, there it is. All right, if I can get out of here fast enough. Oh, jeez. So yes. close. Yes. No! Aha! Oh, you barely <laughs> made it. Nicely done. So there we go. So I guess that's, uh, that's a pretty good example of all the gameplay. The only thing that's different, I think, in level 7 and 8 are the... Um, the holes in the ground are sometimes hidden under a rug. Under carpet. Yeah, you're right. I remember that. So I'm surprised that we were actually playing that high of a difficulty level when we were younger. We probably thought it was a great idea to have a long version of the game, and then it just became too much for us. You know, in all honesty, it's probably because it ends up being like a half-hour game. And you could say to mom or dad, I'm in the middle of a game. Yeah, let me just play one more. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I've been Zerfall. And I've been Speed Graphic. And I uh, hope to catch you guys on another C64 Sunday.